Hi everyone. Welcome to another session. So number one question, it's about um, S bar. So a nurse is calling physician to report a client's change in condition. Arrange the order according to S bar communication. Now, when you actually get the question in your exam, it's going to be like, you know, you can drag and drop it. So it's S bar. And I'm hoping you know what S bar is, but let's just try it and then we will discuss it, right? So number one, it says there is no fever, but his lung sounds are absent on the right side. And second, he is 76 years old with COPD on oxygen. And three, I think he needs to be transferred to ICU. You need to see the patient immediately. Four, he is having trouble breathing since 30 minutes. Five, this is Nurse P taking care of Mr. Joe Smith. And the last six, he also has diabetes and hypertension. Just see it, go through it, and see which one is your answer. Go ahead and try your best and see what you get, okay? And, and don't worry about uh, being wrong and, you know, it's okay, all right? Because we are supposed to learn together, so it's okay. Do your best. Now, can somebody write um, what is S bar? Okay, I see some of the answers coming, but can somebody write what is S bar? Just to be sure so everybody knows it. Right. Communication tool, okay, good. Situation is the S, great. Situation is the S. What is B? Background. What is A? A is assessment. Good, good, great. And R, there's a last one, which is R. Anybody, what is R? Try it. Recommendation, very good, very good. Okay, you guys got it, all of them, right. Okay, now the deal, well, that was theory, right? We know it's a communication tool. We know we can use it for so many things when we talk to the doctors or when we talk to nurse to nurse, when we talk to any other healthcare providers, we can use SBAR. Great, cool idea. But now it's application time. Okay, so let me ask you this. I think everybody got the first one correctly because everybody is saying phi is the first one to do, right? And what is phi? This is Nurse P taking care of Mr. Joe Smith. Very good. When you say phi is the first one to do, you are basically saying we need to introduce ourselves. Right, the doctor needs to know. I mean, it's, it's saying here, the nurse is calling the physician. So doctor needs to know who you are and who are you talking about, right? So five is right. I agree with that, okay? That's a great thing to do, five is right. This is nurse P taking care of Mr. Joe Smith. My problem with all of you, I mean, those who answered great, Okay, I'm, I'm really glad, glad for you. But my problem is your second option. All of you guys said he is 76 years old with COPD on oxygen, right? And I commend you all for putting it on time. You are really great. Now, um, you might get the answers right now when I talk about it. So two, that he's 76 years old with COPD on oxygen is not the situation. What is the situation here? Why are you calling the doctor? I mean, before you call the doctor, he was 76 years, he was COPD, he was on oxygen. Why didn't you call early? I mean, he was still 76, he was still having COPD, he was still on oxygen. Why are you calling right now? That is the situation. Okay, this is history. This is your background information. All right. Now, this is what I want you to ask yourself. If you are picking up the phone right now to call the doctor, is it because he's 76 years old? Is it because he has history of COPD or he is COPD on oxygen? Is that why you're calling you? In that case, you will be calling on everybody, right? I mean, oh, this is CHF. 
Okay, or this is diabetes. Okay, this is renal failure. Are you going to call the doctor for that? No. What is the situation? You got it. You got it now. Four is the next thing to do. You are calling for what? That is the situation. Now, I want you to have that in your mind really, really thorough. Okay, so here it says he is having trouble breathing for the last 30 minutes or since 30 minutes. That is the reason why you are picking up the call or why you are picking up the phone and calling the doctor. Now add information, but first is your situation, right? So you're going to say, this is Nurse P, oops, sorry about that. This is Nurse P taking care of Mr. Jaw Smith. He is having trouble breathing since 30 minutes. Okay, now you can say a little bit more background, okay? Now you can say he is 76 year old with COPD on oxygen, not the other way around. Now, is that clear? Because we have more to go, but is that clear to everybody? Because we need to get the situation right. Okay, so this is the question you're going to ask yourself. Why am I picking the phone now? It's not because he's 76. It's not because he's COPD. It's not because he's on oxygen. I am picking up the phone because he is having trouble breathing. Now I can add all the background information after that, right? I mean, that's how S bar is. Situation comes first, then comes your background right so in the background yes we can say two i mean that's fantastic we can say two and is there anything else you can add in the background all are saying six and and i agree with you i agree with you because the six says he has diabetes and hypertension very good job guys now you got it right so we are going to introduce ourselves I mean, we have to say who we are and which patient. Then it's going to be why I'm calling you right now. That's your situation. Then you can add information, history, background. Okay. So two will go there. Six will go there. Because that's kind of a history, the background which you are talking about. Right. Now what? Now what? We have situation, background. What is our next one in S bar? A. Now, A is assessment. Very good, Alice. A is assessment. So what do you think is the assessment here? I think Blissy is answering something, but is there anybody else? All right. I know. Good. Alice, Smita, Febi. Good job, Indu. You got it. So this is our assessment finding. Now, it may not say that I took the vital signs or, or it may not say that, okay, I looked at the lab results. It may not say all that things, but you are good. You are smart. From, the, from reading this, you understood, okay, this is an assessment finding. Now, when there is an assessment finding, it could be subjective assessment finding, objective assessment finding, it could be any assessment finding you are, you are getting, okay? So add that here. Basically, you are adding there is no fever and the lung sounds are absent on the right side. You know, that's your from your assessment. You did the vital signs. You listened to the lungs. So you did the physical examination, you know, the inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation. It might say something about resonance. It might say something about hyperinflation. It might say something about saturation being 90 or whatever. Okay, so all those things are going to be your assessment findings. So one comes next. Now I think we have only another one more thing which is pending and all of you ended in three, which is recommendation. And recommendation says, I think he needs to be transferred to ICU. You need to come and see the patient immediately. Okay. So when a nurse is recommending something, it doesn't have to be a treatment option. It could be a transfer to the next level of care. Like, like in this case, right? It's ICU. So that's okay. I mean, that's your recommendation. Or sometimes you don't even say that. Instead, you might say, doctor, I think you need to come and see the patient immediately. I mean, that's a recommendation. Right? So it is okay to say such things as recommendation. It doesn't have to be always like, you know, I think he needs more Lasix or I think he needs a chest tube or I think he needs, um, you know, a bronchodilator. It doesn't have to be a medication. 
a nurse can recommend things from her clinical judgment point of view. It might even be a transfer. It might be calling somebody else. Maybe I can tell, maybe I'm calling the internal medicine doctor and I can tell this internal medicine doctor, doctor, I think we need a pulmonologist consult right here. That's your recommendation. So when we say recommendation, don't always narrow down your thinking to a medication. It doesn't have to be. Okay, is that open enough? Because it's very important, and I'm saying this again and again and again, I think every time I say this, but again, please be open when you have endless questions. Do not try to make it into boxes. It won't work like that, okay? Because this is normal life, critical life, chronic life, acute life, we are talking about people and you cannot make it into each boxes, right? There is no, this box always right and this box always wrong in NCLEX. You should be adaptive, flexible, open with the right information and clinical judgment. Then only you can answer it.